Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. This is amateur artist Mark D. Chandler once again from Man Land. And behind the camera is Ranger Cookie. Hello everybody. He was kind of interested in how to uh, skin a possum and I decided I was going to show it to him. Um, <laughs> If you go to my channel, you'll see a video where Bone has killed <coughs> another possum. Now, this one here is a mighty big one. And what we're going to do, I'm going to make the video very long, but I'm going to let y'all know, this is a graphic warning. This is for educational purposes. And please don't be grossed out. So, Cookie wanted to know, wanted to record. There you go. Uh, to start it off with... In the background, we have a pop-up lamb there that you see on TV. It's by, I think it's, uh, let's see, I forgot what it is, Bell and Howell. Hard to show that right there, Bell and Howell, their logo. As seen on TV, that's a nice little light. I'm sitting here using the, uh, uh, this tarpaulin here happens to be from Ultimate Survival Technologies. I think that's, that's it. It's the emergency blanket, 2.0. That's to keep my knees wet from getting wet. Uh, we got a... A sign here that the possum's on. You can see right there he is definitely dispatched. So, without further ado, we're going to use the actual Ozark Trails folding knife. This has not been sharpened straight out the box. Got it for a Christmas present. We're going to give it a go and uh, see how sharp this thing really is. And that's the. Uh, there's the knife. Well, start the bitching. Yeah, it feels kind of sharp. I did use it one time before and it seemed to do pretty good. But here on the possum, happens to be a male, don't be afraid of that. Remember, this is going to be graphic. We're going to try to make this process as YouTube friendly as possible. Yeah, we bought this possum at Walmart, so... Yeah, right off, right off the meat counter. counter. Uh, what we're going to do is do our first cut here back toward the anus area. And so far, the knife is actually cutting. Possum is kind of... A tough deal to work with here and uh, the hardest part is to get it started now I'm not sure where bone shot this thing yet Pro I'm hoping it's not gut shot it doesn't appear to be like <coughs> one of the shots hit here there's one in the back here I'm not trying to gross anybody out if you're afraid of this type of thing I'd advise you to stop watching now because it's gonna get pretty gross Well, I can smell them already. Possum normally has a pretty loud smell. Gamey smell. Very gamey. Now, that's not bad there at all. Nice performing very well. It could be a little bit sharper. But at this point, this is how I clean it once you clean any type of animal four-legged creature the technique is basically the same okay once we get this right here from hind quarter to hind quarter I'm going to take a knife and actually go around the tail that area cut all the way around because this part we're not going to save I think you, you can agree we don't want to save it now here oh I can see his retina of his eyes I'm going to flip him back over this side here this technique will work well for just about any game animal there is cutting up through the stomach area 
try not to penetrate the stomach at the actual stomach just touch through the skin this dude's got a lot of fat on him a lot of fat trying to do it down through the breastbone Not really staying on the center here. Oh, old age. It's bad on the knees and the back. And at this point, you can cut around the neck if you want to. We're not saving that part. So we're not going to bother with it. We're just going to cut up to the neck. This knife is not super sharp. It's doing the job. It could actually stand a good bit of sharpening. That's fine for cutting through the flesh. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can go ahead and split down the leg, or you can get it to where you can pull the leg out, kind of like a squirrel. So that's what I'm going to do. Since this dude is laying wide open here easily, I'm just cutting the hide away from the skin here, the flesh. And this one here, you see the hindquarters exposed. You reach in and pull it out from the backside. If you got enough to get a hold of, save your knife as much as you can. And, uh, That's pretty tough. A little tougher than a squirrel. I say it's just about as tough as a deer would be. He's got a lot of fat on him too. That's the greasy stuff. Mm, yeah. I can't quite get my finger in there. I'm going to have to cut them this way. No doubt about it. And right there, kind of tore a muscle. That's good eating right there. Okay. Trying to pull his foot on through. Here, he cut the joint. Cut the ligaments. I'm still trying to save your knife as much as possible. Break it. And it should pull. Well, it should pull, but there's a ligament hole. So now we've got one leg quarter exposed. It's that simple. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Let's see it down to me. Wow, he is full of fat. I mean, full of fat. This knife here is straight out the box, or the package, I should say. And it's cutting. It's fairly sharp, but it's not as sharp as I'd like. It does just cut the skin on the other side. That's a bad no-no. <laughs> that is tough. He's going to be a tough... Eating something in there, boy. 
Now, if you don't put them in some milk and some broth the stuff and let them soak over two days. He don't have to be tenderized. I'm going to have to turn around where I can get to him. Trying to do this for camera may not be a good camera angle. Sorry, folks. Oh, it's okay. We got it. <laughs> Once we get this part right here done, the rest of it should be pretty easy. But, uh, there we go. We don't eat the foot. I say just find that joint area, cut around it, kind of like a snap it like a twig. Stick. Break it. There we go. And then cut that ligament that part there is done so now remember we haven't actually gutted them yet you want to leave it intact as much as possible you want the tail intact and i don't know if he's going to skin like a squirrel this is a tough dude here we'll get him started I want to get back to the <laughs> normally these backs and stuff I don't really save his back and area because it's not like a chicken where he tastes that great. See how easy he is to skin now. Oh yeah, much more better. Much more better. But he is full of fat. I mean full of it. That means he's been eating good around town. He's been some good stuff. Probably coming on your property, eating all the trash that y'all got. Eating some bones yard left over cooking, what he's been doing. Actually, I'm pulling the wrong way. I need the hair so I can get a grip. Man, that dude is tough. I'd say this Ozark Trails knife is pretty sharp at the box. But not quite sharp enough. No big enough way no fish with it. Turn them back over. I'm going to do the same thing with the chest plate. I'm going to cut them open in just a minute. Looks like you're cutting the meat off. A little bit, but we're not going to save the ribs. There's hardly any meat on the ribs or the back. It's a little bit on the back. Uh, normally what we use is the, is the two leg quarters and two front quarters. And you throw and the rest away and just... Pretty, pretty much the rest of the way because it's just not a lot of meat. But now this one here may be a little bit different. I mean ribs of possum is not exactly a fine delicacy. That's just my opinion. That's, uh, and that's that's bloodshot there. That's where bone popped them real good. You got some gelatin there. Yeah. Mm. Look at that little tough dude there, I tell you. I'm breathing hard because I'm leaning over. Yeah, I was like... My old knees is giving out now. Yeah, that knife needs some attention real bad. Really bad. And we get to the front. The front legs. Pretty much the same thing. Split it all the way. A squirrel is easy to pull these paws through. This dude here, he's a little bit difficult. Come on. 
anyway. <laughs> out your mouth <laughs> look at the teeth on that thing he got some, he got some rabbit in his teeth on it Must have hit him in the shoulder. I think it was broke. Yeah, I can see it. His rotator cuff's a little bit broken. Let me see what. Maybe he had a fight with another possum. Uh, it could have been Oscar biting on him. Yep. It very well could be. Biting down, crunching some stuff. Look at that. <laughs> 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 Golly. Yeah, he gonna have to be boiled for several hours. Well, we start the fire now. Cannot get a hole in there. Get my finger in. Finally got a hole. And the front paw is going to be the same way. Find <coughs> <coughs> his wrist. Oh. This dude wasn't a boxer. <laughs> oh, mercy, man. I didn't get there to the joint right there in the radius, radius and ulna. <clears throat> That's a tough dude. Man. Okay, now. Whew. I swear I think this is the last possum I'm going to skin for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Tell bones don't to kill them. Yep, you got to eat what you kill. Yep, so That's don't be code. killing nothing that you're not going to eat. Bone would be out here, but he had to go to work tomorrow. I'm off. So he left it up to me to skin it as usual. <laughs> and, uh... There's the shot wound. Yeah, he, he got him good. Looks like you just shot him once or twice in the same spot. <coughs> Trying to find that. Yeah. Finger hole in here. Okay, it's on. Okay. Oh yeah, much better. Much better. Had to sit there and sharpen the Ozark Trails knife so I can get in here and do some cutting.
Yeah, I, I notice a lot of people different clean their animals different than I usually do. So that's the reason I'm asking Mr. Mark D. Chandler to show me how he cleans his animals or coon or possum. It's pretty much the same for any four-legged creature. Uh, the technique is, if you know how to clean a squirrel and it converts over to a rabbit, then you can just about clean any animal there is, or as far as skinny. And uh, <coughs> so this dude has got some tough skin. I mean, it's amazing how tough this is. And he is putting up a fight. Okay, now I got to the wrist. I didn't have the wrist on the other side. <clears throat> Cut that off so I can twist it. There you go. <clears throat> Man. I just dull my knife on that bone. There's actually a joint there. I haven't quite got to it yet. Well, that, that possum's putting out some steam. Sure is. And we've got the neck area here. And so we've got the back. Would that be the, the meat, the meatiest part around the neck? It would be. But uh, right now I'm just not going to spend all that time trying to get it off. Yeah, but you're almost done. True. That would be possum neck. Yeah, I, I th that looks like the most meatiest part right there. Look at all that meat behind that no, neck. That's a lot. Of, no, that could be. I, mean, I don't know. That's a lot of meat. You, uh -huh. you just take your knife and go in and you see meat. What we're going to do is we're going to de decapitate them. And this may actually get kind of bloody looking. Nah, all the blood's been gushed out. I don't think he's bled out that much. Right in here in the neck area, there's supposed to be, I know at the base of the skull, right here, and this is where the skull is, it comes back to right here, and there's that first joint, so we're looking at the rib cage, I mean, the, the backbone from here on, and there's supposed to be a, a spinal cord, right through there, we'll cut through that very easily, supposedly, in theory, that doesn't work every single time, and cut to the th throat area. Okay. Once you get the meat cut, this is a simple matter. There it is. Now, I'm going to go ahead and leave the tail attached. We can get rid of that. And that. And we're going to go ahead and gut him here. I'm going to go ahead and remove as much of this fat as I can while I got it. Because that, that meat versus that fat is not tasty. Uh, possum is naturally greasy. It has an all flavor. There's a gland. And now comes the actual gutting of the animal itself. Now looking at it, bone hit him pretty much in the chest area. Chest for him. Up in this area here. And in the I know there was a wound here in the back somewhere. Right there, there it is. He hit there, there. He shot him in a good spot. Sure Looks like a neck. I did, I did that with a knife. The neck and the uh, yeah, exit wound there, and the um, it's not bad. 
No, he did good shooting. Here, I'm going to go right here in the middle. And you want to be careful. You don't want to go too deep and hit that gland on that, yeah. that uh, liver. You sure don't want to hit that. Now, there's his bladder. And you don't want to hit that. That will taint that meat. That will absolutely taint it. Come right down here. Toward the anus area. There's his, That's his actual mm -hmm. urine bladder. And what I'm doing it is... It looks like his intestines. I'm putting, yeah, this, this is the intestinal area. But I'm putting the knife in and I'm actually turning it up before I pull up. So I'm not digging down in there. And help, it helps to lift this breastplate. Hmm. It makes me wonder why I use scissors and how we always use knives. Scissors is a very good idea. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that at all. It's been a long time since I cleaned animal. Now here's the rib cage area. And his liver? The sternum. And if you were to stay right. directly in the center. It should be over the cut this right is the, uh Rip. Oh, uh, the uh, uh, coccyx, not coccyx, yes. There's a name. I've got, got the medical name. Uh, but that's that part. <laughs> right. Bot basically, it's bottom of the rib cage. That's where your heart is for humans. I'm cutting it out here so you can see it better. That right there is actually the center. And you can, at this point, you can stop if you want to. But I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Now we're into the lung. There's the diaphragm for the lungs right here. That's the diaphragm. That's the part that expands the lungs. Yeah, but yeah, a good pair of kitchen scissors is a very good idea when you're processing small game. Even birds. A, a oh, bird, if, if only you need a thing is for a bird is a pair of scissors. I cleaned many quail in my lifetime. Yeah. Go ahead and open them up. He's, There's his. This is really congealed here, but. That's uh, his lungs, all blood in it. Yeah, he bled out. There's his heart, liver. Give me the heart. Just cut the diaphragm. I want that heart. I want you to cook it for me. Pull it out and make it. Show everybody the heart of. How many, how many, how many, how many, how many, how many. And keep your fingers out the way. Don't cut yourself like I didn't. <laughs> it just looked like it. Yeah. Now that heart is good at eating. I don't care what, 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 whatever. Here's your heart. That's a pretty big heart for that animal. I can't see a bone in it. So hit him in the heart. It don't appear he did. Nope, his lungs got uh, full of blood. Yeah, his lungs are full. His lungs are actually gone. They're mush. That's his lung cavity right there. So it should be able to out. grab right where he's at and pull the whole gut thing out. Yep, yeah, once I get the esophagus detached. <clears throat> Remember, folks, we're not trying to be gross here. We're just trying to shoot you a little educational video. You got to cut the main brain diaphragm. out of the uh... the diaphragm. It's really tough. And this part right here is usually pretty simple. Just grab one part, pull the hole. That's, That's his lungs. lungs. It's totally full of blood. Totally bloodshot. He he suffocated with his own blood. Absolutely did. At this point, I want to hold him up. <laughs> blood clot. Wow. This thing. Thing giving you a, a problem from hell. There's his ovaries or whatever you want to call them. Kidneys. Kidneys. <laughs> there you go. 
ovaries on ovaries. Uh, a male a male uh, po uh, possum. Okay. okay. Male possum. Got ovaries. ovaries. Yeah. Listen, at least I caught myself. <laughs> and I'm gonna lift him up. I'm going to pull that ladder on out. He is tough. Golly. <coughs> <coughs> Holy moly. Hmm. I wonder why I also hang my animal up. I think it's easier to, to gut your animal. It is. But with small game, you really don't have to worry about it. I know. I'm still can... hung that sucker up. That's me, but... Yeah, he's pretty much purged there. Intestines, liver, lungs, uh, bladder. You can open his gut to see what he ate. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's usually the sticky part. Go here and cut his tail off. I still have some. Hey, I didn't know I had that on there. Yeah. I still had his hide left. Cut down to his butt. Take him inside, wash him up, get him cleaned up. Don't forget my heart. I'm gonna roast that sucker. I know I'm gonna do it. And we're going to get rid of this tail. Which is right here. There's actually a joint there you can cut through, but right now, I'm not sure where it's at. Either high or low. What you wanna do is probably get rid of the guts. Maybe a little cut here. Yeah. Throw the guts in the thing, bring back the capan when it's clean, and put him in it. And the heart. And I'll take him inside and we'll finish cleaning him on up. Yeah, we'll get the details. Bloody. Really won't keep the uh the ribs, the rib cage unless you like to stew them or something. I you know. It's pretty tough. There's the inner loin, that's a good piece right there. The inner loins. Usually, of course, you know the back strap is usually good on a deer. It's a very tough. This is actually more meat than a than a snake. It's much more better eating. But I say we're just gonna clean them up a bit, get them cooled down, washed up. There's a fat piece right there. Yeah, ooh, really fatty. Looks like I just cut his hide off, but I didn't. <laughs> it's just all fat. <laughs> That's all, all right well that's it well thank you for tuning in i'm ranger cookie and this is amateur artist martin d channel once again from manland bye-bye